as promised, uh, back from the break. Now we're going to talk about the transistor operation in a little bit more detail. And uh, once uh, on, the transistor can be basically divided into three regions. A linear region, that's where IDS versus VDS is linear. Pinch off or saturation, the channel is said to be pinched off. The pinch off point is the onset of current saturation, so the current stays the same. Another region is sometimes called the cutoff region, where no current flows. So first we'll discuss the linear region in a little bit of detail. Actually before that, there's a uh, when VGS is less than the threshold voltage, no channel is formed, so there's effectively no current IDS, and it's in the cutoff mode. That's where that's illustrated on that figure. And the linear region, we have VGS greater than VT, and uh, drain current does flow. And you can see by the graph, it sort of looks like a linear fit, an ID versus VGS. But I don't think that's why they call it the linear region. And the figure would be very similar for the P-type device, except for it to be in the, the third quadrant as opposed to the first quadrant. And that would be just a convention. Anyway, to continue on in the linear region, uh, basically we're looking at the IDS versus VDS characteristic now. This is the graph we're probably more interested in. And in this particular case, VGS is greater than VT, and we have fairly relatively small VDS. And what we mean by that is VDS is less than VGS minus VT. In this case, IDS versus VDS is linear, as sort of shown in the, by these red lines here. As VGS increases, the slope gets steeper, uh, but it remains linear. So this is our increasing VGS from before at a constant VDS on the previous slide, and here we're uh, parameterizing the IDS uh, versus VDS curve by uh, VGS. So basically, as VGS increases, the resistance goes way down. And we can think of this as the source to, uh, drain resistance being controlled by VGS. So again, uh, for small VDS, uh, small positive uh, voltage VGS, we basically induce a negative image charge. And what that means is that the lines of force that are positive uh, charge on the gate end up on negative charges in the channel. And those are the ionized acceptors. And that was the basically a result in the formation of a depletion region, and that is the repulsion of holes, because initially that material was p-type in the channel. So further increases in VGS effectively pull in the minority carriers. These are electrons, and they uh, come into the channel uh, at the source and drain regions. So at a sufficient gate voltage, the minority carrier, that's the electron concentration at the surface, exceeds the whole majority carrier in the bulk, and the surface is said to be inverted. For small VDS, that is VDS less than VGS minus VT, the inversion layer extends directly from the source to the drain. So right across from source to drain. Uh, now we're going to start talking about going into uh, from the linear to the pinch-off regime, or the saturation region. And we basically are considering the case when VGS is greater than VT, so it's on, but VDS is still relatively small. So for small VDS, uh, we mean VDS less than VGS minus VT. That inversion layer extends from the source to drain. In that case, as I mentioned before, the device acts like a voltage-controlled variable resistor. You increase the gate voltage here, and the resistance goes down on that device. So at the pinch-off region, what happens when VDS increases, the voltage between the, the gate and the drain decreases. Uh, IDS, of course, still increases. And when VDS is exactly equal to VGS minus VT, the electric field at the drain end across the gate dielectric of the channel is reduced to a level such that inversion layer is no longer sustained across the entire channel. Actually, it's totally gone at the, at the drain part of the channel. And the channel is said to be pinched off. And there's no inversion layer at the drain. Here's it shown pictorially, right at the pinch-off point. Initially, we had a gate uh, voltage. We had this inversion layer extending from uh, source to drain. And as we increase the, the drain voltage, well, this voltage here drops, and it gets to the point where the uh, voltage right here is basically the threshold voltage. So the field required to uh, basically create an inversion layer isn't sufficient to, to invert uh, the semiconductor of that area. So at the pinch-off point, uh, IDS is the current from the drain to source. It's called saturated, and we label it as ID sat. Further increases in VDS beyond VD sat basically retracts that pinch-off point toward the source, and it creates a region without an inversion layer, but it looks like a vacuum in that region. So effectively, the electrons, when they do travel through that region, uh, tunnel right through it. 
as if it, they were in a vacuum. Tunneling is probably not the correct terminology. Uh, the pinch off point is synonymous with saturation, current saturation. So uh, in saturation, IDS remains current at ID sat due to the current continuity. And uh, I'll explain that in a figure or two in a minute. It's a, a high field region near the drain end forms and simply accelerates the electrons that reach the pinch off point from the source to the drain. Uh, the only difference is that the channel length is now L prime and not L, so it's slightly reduced, which means that, that the current would tend to increase a little bit in the saturation region, meaning that the slope isn't going to be zero. So here's the, the picture when the device is in the saturation region. Basically the, the figure looks the same as before. This would be the VT across the, the gate at this point. The channel length is modulated. This is exaggerated probably, probably not uh, to that degree. And the electric field here is quite high and basically just accelerate whatever electrons reach this part of the channel just be accelerated and, and uh, picked up at the drain. So here's a bit of pedagogy, the reason why the current saturates and remains constant is because these pic two pictures look the same. It's easy to convince ourselves of, of current flowing at this point in time because we're in the linear region and then what happened, we hit this pinch off point. This figure is essentially the same. The only difference is that there's this region under the gate here where the layer isn't inverted, but the electrons just transport through it ballistically. Uh, so the transistor operation summary, we have a linear regime. When uh, This is when VGS is greater than VT. It looks linear. The IDS, VDS characteristic is linear, and VDS is less than VGS minus VT. We have a pinch-off point. Again, VGS is greater than VT, but VDS is approximately equal to VGS minus VT. At that point in time, the current remains saturated. We say we're in the saturation regime. Again, the device is on. VGS is greater than VT, but now VDS is greater than VGS minus VT. And then we have the cutoff region when VGS is less than VT. And there's no channel formed, and of course we say there's no current flowing through the device at that time. And at this point, we'll take a quick break.